Hello, my beautiful artist. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing pretty good. And today we are moving forward to the principles of design. Last week, we finished the elements of art, which are line, shape, form, color, value, texture, and space. And now we're moving on to the principles of design. So the elements of art are very important because they are the building blocks of art. We need them in order to make art. Um, think of it like a recipe. You need certain ingredients in order to make a recipe, like a pizza. The building blocks of a pizza would be the crust, the sauce, and the cheese. Those are like the elements of a pizza, like the elements of art. They need to be there in order for a pizza to really be a pizza. Now, the principles of design are like the sugar and spice of an ingredient, the toppings of a pizza. I'm a pepperoni girl myself, so my principles of pizza would probably be the pepperoni, sausage, some extra cheese. It's the extra stuff that makes our pizza or our artwork look more dynamic and interesting and more, really, like I said, just more interesting to the viewer. And we are going to be going through all of those the rest of the year. And we're starting today with balance. But before we get into that, I want to tell you guys what the principles of design are. So we got a new hand drive going on. Uh, I'll do it twice, once for you guys to see, and then once for you to follow along with me. So the principles of design are balance, unity, variety, proportion, emphasis, movement, and pattern. Now for number two, you guys follow along. The principles of design are balance, unity, variety, proportion, emphasis, movement, and pattern. And we are starting today with balance. So we're going to be looking at a couple of different elements of balance. Starting off, balance is the arrangement of elements in artwork that give it harmony. Balance is the arrangement of elements in an artwork that give it harmony. It also gives weight to a picture. For example, if we had a picture, and there, there are a couple different things that go into balance, but let's look at let's listen, let's look at symmetrical and asymmetrical balance. Symmetrical means same. So on I so if you cut your painting in half, it would look the same on both sides. It'd be like having two big circles on either side of your paper. They would be in the exact same place. That would be symmetrical balance. Asymmetrical balance was if you had would be if you had one big circle over here and one little circle down here. Because they are not the same, they are different, which is asymmetrical. And that's what we're going to be looking, focusing on today with balance is symmetrical and asymmetrical balance. So one more time. Balance is the arrangement of elements in an artwork that give it harmony. And it also gives weight to a picture. Symmetrical is same. Asymmetrical is different. So let's get started. So we are going to do two little activities, one practicing symmetry and one practicing asymmetry. Specifically, we are going to use butterflies. So there's two ways that you can do this. You can either do it using the line or not using the line. I'm going to do a small version of each. So 
The first thing I want to do is I want to make my butterfly. Symmetry can be pretty hard to achieve. So don't worry if your butterfly itself doesn't look exactly the same on both sides. What matters is that the pattern is exactly the same on both sides. So the wings can the wings and the body can be a little bit off, but make sure that pattern is just right on both sides. See, like you can already tell, I've already messed up on this wing. I made it a little bit too short, but that's okay. I'm gonna turn our mistake into a masterpiece. So the way to draw a butterfly, you make his body just a little oval, and then you kind of make almost like a heart shape for the wings. You make one lump and then a second lump. Usually the first lump is a little bit bigger than the second. That's just typical of butterflies. So now what I'm going to do, I have my butterfly, I have my wings. I'm going to do the same thing down here, except I'm going to use the line as the body. Hopefully this will help me make the wings look even more symmetrical because I'll be able to use the same going off points for both of them. But if I don't, like I said, the wings aren't as big of a deal as the pattern is from this assignment. But I think that's not too bad. That looks pretty symmetrical. Hey, kill me. And then I'm going to add some antennas. Add some antennas here. Oh, that's not his head. <laughs> My bad. Add the antennas here. And because I have the space for it, I'm going to give this guy a little smiley face. There you go. I have my two butterflies. Again, you can either do it with the body or use the line as the body. Either way is 100% fine with me. So, like I said, the thing that we're really focusing on is symmetry in the pattern that we're making. So, whatever design I do on this wing, I got to do on this wing. Whatever one I do on this wing, I got to do for this wing. There should be two patterns for each wing. One here and one here. So I'm going to start with a wavy line for this wing and I'm trying to make it look symmetrical. So I don't actually want to completely follow my line through on this. I want to try to copy what I did on the other side. See how that, that looks a bit more symmetrical. I'm going to do the same thing again. And again on this wing. And I'm going to copy it on this wing. There we go. My first wing for my first butterfly is done. And it looks pretty symmetrical to me. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my top wing on my second one too. And this time I'm going to do a zigzag line. And what is nice about the using the line as the body option, it makes it a little bit easier to continue lines. Especially for lines like this that can... Um, for zigzag lines, it's a little bit easier to um, the sh to show the symmetry because it's a naturally it's a naturally same line. You do one piece on top of the other. Now moving on to the bottom half of our butterfly, I think for this one I'm going to put some swirls. So I'm going to put a big swirl over here, and I'm going to immediately copy that onto this side. That way I don't get lost in any other part of it. I'm gonna put a little swirl up here, a little swirl up here, and another big swirl down here. Big swirl down here. And then that looks pretty symmetrical. 
symmetrical to me. I just need to move this one over a little bit. And there we go. That looks pretty symmetrical, I think. Now moving on to my bottom one, I think I'm going to do some polka dots on this one. So I'm going to make a polka dot pattern that I know that I'll be able to do on both wings. That won't be too difficult for me. And there we go. I have both of my wings. I, um, both my butterflies, their wings are complete and they are both symmetrical. Symmetrical meaning same on each side as if I folded the butterfly and just copied the pattern onto the other side. Now let's look at asymmetry. Asymmetry means different. So we're going to do the same thing with the butterfly. And I'm also going to have my one line one. But what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to make I'm going to make him really different. You have two options for this. You can either make two completely different kinds of wings. You can make just two different patterns. You can make one one side really big and one side really small, which I think I'm actually going to do for this one over here where I make one wing like a normal size and then I make one wing very small. Oh man, that's just so weird. <laughs> I love it. We're good. Oh, there we go. Oh, I forgot. I'm going to give this guy some antennas and a smiley face too. So there we go. Now I have two different versions of an asymmetrical butterfly. I have a big wing and a very different kind of wing more like a drag this is a big normal butterfly wing and then a more like a dragonfly kind of wing and i have a normal sized butterfly wing and a very small butterfly wing now the final step is to add my pattern what's fun about this side is i can pretty much do whatever patterns i want on either side of my butterfly because this is asymmetrical it's not supposed to look the same it's supposed to look completely different on both sides. So I just did lines over there. I can put polka dots and squares over here. Whatever you want to do, you have complete creative liberty over here. And then I'm actually going to do some some furry lines, like when we learned in texture. Why not? My asymmetrical butterfly can be furry. It's my butterfly. I'll draw them how I want to. <laughs> and there we go. So now I have a very, very asymmetrical butterfly. And I'm going to do my second one. I'm going to, I'm just going to shade this wing in for this one. And then on the bottom one, I think I'm going to do... Oh, how about like a little X design? And I'll make I'll put shade in a little bit. One moment, please. Sorry about that. Okay, so I have my itty bitty butterfly wings all done. And now I'm going to move on to my big butterfly wings. And again, what's fun about asymmetry is you can kind of do whatever you want. So I'm going to do a little bit of a scallop line over here again. Something we learned in texture as well as when we did our lesson online. We learned about this kind of line. And let me sh my My butterfly was furry up here, so why not make them scaly down here? So there we go. I have my scaly, my scale sign. And now I'm going to do my final design over here. I think I'm going to do a loop-de-loop -loop butterfly wing. I love the loop-de-loop -loop lines.
There we go. So I have my two very asymmetrical butterflies and my two symmetrical butterflies. Symmetry means same. So I worked very hard to try to make sure that both sides of my butterfly looked the same. The wings were a little bit off, which is okay because it's kind of hard to make perfect butterfly wings. However, my patterns are the same on both sides, which is what is important. That's what I'm trying to get you guys to achieve. My asymmetrical butterfly is all over the place. He's got two different kinds of wings, two different sizes of wings, all different patterns, but that is okay because this was asymmetry, which means different. So that is it for today. Um, we looked at balance, which is the arrangement of elements in a, <laughs> is the arrangement of elements in artwork that give it harmony. Balance is the arrangement of elements in artwork that give it harmony. And that's it. Oh, it also gives weight to an image. Symmetry means same. Asymmetry means different. That's it for today, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I'll see you next week with our balance project. Have a good day. Bye.